What's your, what's your best advice when finding partners to work with? I think you guys have to share the same values. Mm -hmm. You guys have to want to do it beyond and just make a few bucks. Mm -hmm. You have to say both have a mission, they want to do this. They want to do some epic, cool things. Mm -hmm. Not just, hey man, I want to make some money, you want to make some money, it doesn't work. Because when things get tough, that doesn't work. Yeah, that motivation doesn't last. It doesn't last. And, and also when, when things, when money is coming in, greed kicks in, that doesn't work either. Mm -hmm. But if like a couple people, they want to do some epic good stuff and you've got a good team, money would be there, money comes. Mm -hmm. Money is a byproduct of that. Mm -hmm. When the two people share the same value, they have skills that complement with each other and they also both have work, same work ethics, same vision, then you got something that's very, very good. Mm -hmm. Integrity, obviously, that's very, very key. Um, and also partner with people who are not desperate. Yes. So if you're very successful, don't partner with someone who's like desperate for money. Right. Over the years, every single deal that I got fucked over yeah. is by people who are desperate and stab me in the back. And you just took a chance on them because you felt like, ah, why not roll the dice? Kind of. But successful people, they don't need to do that. Because mm -hmm. this deal, it works or not, they're still okay. Mm -hmm. Those are the best partnerships, mm -hmm. right? And I found that's the case. Let's talk a little bit too about your consulting because I know you're world renowned for your, what you've done in consulting. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about your business model and what you advise other people who maybe have their own consulting practices or coaching practices in terms of um, providing premium value and charging high ticket prices mm. without any of the limiting beliefs of, oh, I can't do that. What are the odds? Can you talk a little bit about how you've structured your business? It's funny you, you brought that up because people might think they see me as a consultant. Right. But really, like, this is how much I make. I make this much from consulting. Oh, okay. That's not the main source of my income. income. Yeah, a lot of my businesses, I just don't talk about it. Right. Because I don't feel that the need to talk about right. it. Right. Uh, but it's not, it's a small part of what I do. Uh, certain companies I consult a little bit. Even now, I mean, I just turned down a couple of pretty big consulting gigs just mm -hmm. because I'm now have less time to do them. Right. I'm busier and busier, right? So to answer your question, it goes back to your self worth. I'll give you a very simple formula. You want to charge more money consultants, supply and demand. Mm -hmm. You want to drive up your demand and you want to restrict the supply. Mm -hmm. So let's say if I'm a consultant, a service provider, coach, whatever I do, mm -hmm. I say to the world, hey, you know what? Call me anytime. I'm always available, <laughs> right? I can pick on as many clients as, as, as I want. Right. My value, it's, it's lower mm -hmm. in what the marketplace sees. On the other hand, hey, you know what? I'm very much in demand, I'm very busy. I only take on maybe selective two, three clients, five clients a year. Mm -hmm. I charge a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So you drive up the, the demand, but then you restrict your supply. Mm -hmm. Now suddenly you become more valuable. Mm -hmm. Providing the same service. When people pay you more money, they value what you do more, mm -hmm. right? Because whatever you pay, you pay attention. Mm. So yeah, the more people pay, the more they pay I'm attention. sure yeah. for production, you've experienced doing yes. work for clients on the cheap. Yes. Right? And they're yes. pinging the ass. Yes. They're difficult to deal with. You go the extra mile, they're still not happy. It's true. Versus the clients who pay you the most amount of money. Right. Big chunk of money. Mm -hmm. They are easy to deal with. It's true. In my production business and in my coaching business, Say. clients that I used to charge 1000 to versus I charge 10000 to, the 10000 ones follow through. Mm -hmm. They're assertive. They're on top of it. Yeah. And the other ones are always looking for a deal. They're always trying Give to- Give me a discount. Yeah. And that translates to their customers and their business yep. and so on and so forth. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that's why I believe in my philosophy, sell to you know, players with money. Mm. Sell to people who get it deal with successful people it's much much easier it's an easy relationship too and I love what you say too about you're not in the business of turning losers into winners yeah. you're in the business of helping winners win more yeah because they, they they got it already mm -hmm. I don't need to justify like when when I charge someone or when someone charge me that they are not looking for just like when someone pay me like you look at the, the amount of charge compared to the time I can tell you the, my consulting clients, mm -hmm. the one who pay me the most amount of money, mm -hmm. I spend the least amount of time with. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because they're fucking busy. Yeah, and they get to the point when they need help, yeah, they go they, straight they, they're for the not looking, Hey, Dan, I want to talk to you once a week. I want to talk. No, they're working on something for a couple of months. They come to me with whatever they're working on. I give them some strategy, give them big picture. They go, that's it. They execute. They, they're not looking for time. Time is not, not important. Is that few elegant ideas of results the results yes right and it's really interesting because i know you shared too that uh with your clients that it's not like a once a week or you know no. one hour a week it's no. whenever any time but it's focused on results Focus on, and and so I they do, pay you a retainer and to have access to you anytime access and it's not about i tell them it's not about time sometimes let's say what whatever problem you have i said if i could solve your problem in in 
20 minutes. Do you want me to spend 20 hours on it? Mm -hmm. Maybe I could solve your problem with one phone call with a contact I have. Let's say whatever goal, let's say financial goal. You want to make X amount of dollars. Okay. If I have a, a contact here, I know that you guys can work together and work a deal and that could get you the results in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. Do you want that or do you prefer me to drag on long and long right. so I can feel, you feel like you're getting your money's worth? Right. And I always tell them, which one you prefer? It's like, oh, no, no, we want speed. Yeah. And I said, that's cool. Then I'll give you speed, right? And it's true because another example that I've heard similar to that, I forget if it was you who mentioned it, but they said it's like a surgery, right? Say you pay 40000 for yes. surgery. Yes. Do you care if the surgery is 10 hours or 10 minutes? 10 minutes. Or do you just want to get it over with? You, you get over with, you right? Get it's ex it's a result, especially people at high level. And when they're paying that kind of money, it's result oriented. Solve my problem quickly. Mm -hmm. That's the value. That's powerful, right? Man. So let me ask you this. As you look back, reflecting on your life, the tough times, the trials, the tribulations, yeah. um, what would the Dan today say to the young Dan who was trying to find his way and going through his failures and trying out you know, this and that? The Dan today, the, the multimillionaire that you are today, mm -hmm. looking at that young man with the dream, what would be your best advice to the young Dan? Learning what you, like knowing what you know now, what would be your advice to that young Dan? Hmm. I think everybody has to go through this. And I think mm -hmm. as I shared this, you might not get it yet because you're not there. But I would look back and I would say, you know what, success is, is getting what you want. Mm -hmm. But significance is giving what you got. Mm -hmm. You have to go through the stage. You have to learn how to become successful. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know, I get it. Get the car, get the house, get all that stuff. Right. But when you do get there, you realize there's, there's, more, there's more to life. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, how many cars can you drive? Mm -hmm. Right? How many, how many beds can you sleep on? Mm -hmm. It's one house, it's one car, it's two car. After a while, that's, those things don't mean a lot. Mm -hmm. What is meaningful is you'll be able to do what you like to do. Mm -hmm. Um, and success, I mean, success to me is very, like the definition is very simple. I think it is be able to have a predetermined plan, mm -hmm. whatever the plan is, predetermined plan, executing the plan successfully mm -hmm. over a long period of time and having fun doing it. Mm, enjoying the process. If you can do that, I think you're very successful. So it is, it's not so much a, a destination, mm -hmm. it's a journey. So don't wait till, you know, when I make that fucking million dollars, I'll be happy, I'll <laughs> right, be successful. Yeah. No, chances are, if you're not happy along the way, you're not going to enjoy the million. You're not going to last. Or if you get there, you'll chill out. Yeah, stop. like nowadays, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't even think about like money and, oh, I'm going to make it's this much, I'm going to make that much. But when you don't focus on that, money's a funny thing. Money goes to people who doesn't need it. Mm -hmm. Money goes to people who, who knows how to multiply it. Right. When you're not chasing money, mm -hmm. money just comes. Like, so, it's crazy. It's so crazy. What, what about to people listening? Because I really want to be in touch with the audience, to people listening and maybe trying to find clarity. Uh, what would be your best advice to people who are trying to find clarity or maybe find their thing or maybe enhance their business idea? What, what have you learned uh, along your journey of wealth and fulfillment uh, to people out there who want to get some clarity, what would be your best advice to people out there looking to, you know, sort of sharpen that? Or do you think they sort of need to go through failures and just kind no, of no, no. Into the I walls think along the way? to some degree they do. Mm -hmm. But what works for me was I have my mentor. Mm -hmm. it, it's just you got to find that someone that who you resonate with, who you respect. That's that to me. To me, it may not be the answer for everybody, but that was the answer for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can watch a hundred YouTube videos. Right. You can listen to a hundred podcasts. You, you find that how come you actually have less clarity mm -hmm. compared to before you even watch all this shit. <laughs> right, yeah. So you need like knowledge is not wisdom, right? Mm -hmm. I always say knowledge is data, mm -hmm. is all, knowing all these things you could possibly do. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is knowing which one is bullshit and just do this. Mm -hmm. You need to do this. And chances are if you could get there by yourself, mm -hmm. you will already be there. Mm. Powerful, yeah. Your conscious level, your understanding got you to this point this far. Mm -hmm. But if you have someone who is, who is just from a distance, someone who you who trust, who believe in you, and can say, hey, oh my, don't, don't do this. Mm -hmm. Have you seen this? Have you looked at this? No. Mm -hmm. It changes everything. Opens up a whole new it, possibility. It's, it's a possibility, right? Mm -hmm. And you want to find someone like a true mentor, not a fake mentor. Right. A true man who cares about your success, a mentor who you could talk to, just like one-on-one -on -one interaction and a mentor who's where you want to be in your dreams. Right, who's in it. Who's in, not like done it 10 years ago, who's in it, who's doing it, is still like been there and done that, continues to do it. 
if you can find that person, I mean, do whatever the hell you could to learn from it. Whoever that person is. Mm-hmm. But if you find that person, oh man, that's when I find my mentor, I, I went all in. It was not, let me think about it. Or, no, I went all in, whatever it takes. I don't care if I have to pay. I don't care if I have to work. I don't care if I have to volunteer. I don't care, whatever it takes. Yeah. Th- that changed my life. If you guys enjoyed that video, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now because every week we bring you the very best in personal development content, interviews, and insights to help inspire you to take your life and your dreams and make them a reality. And also, if you want to know how to book dream guests the same way I have, you can check the link below for my top three secrets. So if you have a podcast or a show or whatever it is and you want to collaborate with them, if you click that link below, I'll give you those top three secrets to help you get in touch with anybody. And also, don't forget that The Passionate View is available on media platforms as well. So you can subscribe to the podcast. And until next time, thank you for being one of The Passionate Few.